This video deals with the second side of the 8-5 practice sheet. It goes with module 5-4. These first uh, problems ask you to identify angles of depression and angles of elevation. And you could get away with the one letter way of naming the angle, but it's always better to use three letters like for number four, if we wanted to talk about the angle of depression from the balloon down to the man on the ground, we could say angle WZP, which traces out the angle, or angle PZW. Uh, an alternate, since there are no other angles at Z, we could say angle Z. Those are all ways of expressing the angle of depression. Angle of elevation would be angle RPZ, angle P, or angle ZPR. So that's pretty much uh, it for those. Um, let's look at the mountain biking, which is number five on this page. So um, the understanding part is to just kind of read through the problem and ask yourself what they're asking you to do. So. Um, Nabucco stops on the floor. He's looking at the sa twin sandstone bridges. Uh, let's see, he's about 60 meters from the base of the cliff, and the arches are about 100 meters up the canyon wall. If her line of sight is 5 meters above the ground, what's the angle of elevation? So we need to, and they want us to round to the nearest tenth. So we need to draw a diagram to represent this. So let's say here we have the arches up on top of the cliff. She is 60 meters from the base and also her eye level is 5 meters above the ground. She's looking up at the arches. Okay, so let's double check this. She's standing about 60 meters from the base of so the cliff. The um, arches are about 100 meters up the cliff. So the base of the cliff is down here, so I'm assuming that this 100 meters is measured up from the base. And we need to find the angle of elevation to the, to the top of the bridges. Okay, so this is actually this angle here. Make my diagram fit a little bit better. So we can find... this side of the triangle by thinking about this total distance being 100 meters we have to take 5 meters off of 100 meters this part here is 5 meters this is her line of sight this part here then would be 95 meters up to the top so we're going to use 95 meters for that side of the triangle she's got 60 meters from the base and they want us to find this angle of elevation. So this is a tangent problem. We've got opposite over opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals 95 over 60. We're needing to find the angle measure so we need to do the inverse tangent of 95 over 60. So the actual angle of elevation is going to be tan minus 1 of 95 over 60. So I'll leave that for uh, you to finish up on the calculator. 
and let's look at number seven, this hot air balloon problem. So Angie sees a hot air balloon. Um, she's on the ground. If she steps back 200 feet, she finds another angle. Her angle of depression, the angle of depression of the balloon to her is 40. Remember that same as angle of elevation from her to the balloon. And back 200 feet, there's a new angle of depression. She's five feet five tall. We're assuming that's her eye level then. How far off the ground is a hot air balloon? So we're going to end up having to add the five and a half feet onto the height of the balloon once we find it. So for this one, they actually do give us a diagram to represent the situation. So let's um, look at that. So from the balloon, uh, in the first instance here, the angle of depression is 40 degrees. She moves back 200 feet, so she's Y away from the balloon. And she moves back 200 feet, and then the new angle is 10 degrees. So this is like some other problems we've done. What we're going to do is represent each one of these triangles, the small triangle first. We've got a 40 degree angle. Here's the hypotenuse. X is an opposite. Y is an adjacent. We can write tangent 40 is equal to X over Y. That's what we get from the first triangle. For this second larger triangle, where she moves back 200 feet, the base of this triangle is now 200 plus y. So let me sketch that triangle here. This is a 200 plus y. The x is still the height of the balloon. And this new angle is 10 degrees. So this is, here's the hypotenuse. This is still a tangent problem. Tan 10 is equal to x over 200 plus y. So that's how we can express the second triangle in terms of the numbers that they give us. So both of these have x and y in common with each other. We should be able to see that if I multiply y times both sides here, I basically can have that y tan 40 is equal to x. And if I do the same thing on this other side, multiply by 200 plus y, I have 200 plus y times tan 10 is equal to x. So I can take both of these and get them equal to x. Since x is the same for both of these, I can set these equal to each other and solve for y. So that's what I'm going to do over here on this uh, other page. Let me move this other problem down some. And I'm going to copy this over. So one equation is y tan 40 equals x. And also, x is equal to 200 plus y times tan 40. OK. So set these equal to each other. Um, on this right-hand side, we've got two. Use the distributive property. We've got 200 times tan 40 plus y times tan 40. And so let's just put that step in. Y tan 40 equals 200 tan 40 plus Y tan 40 using the distributive property. I want to get Y's together. So I'm going to subtract Y from, from this side here. And I get Y tan 40 minus okay I notice you know this is not tan 40 this should be tan 10 it should be tan 10 
must be 10, 10. Double check, yeah, 200 plus y times 10, 10. So I'm going to subtract uh, y, 10, 10 from both sides. And that's going to be equal to 200, 10, 10. So y, 10, 40 minus y, 10, 10 equals 200 times uh, 10, 10. Both of these have a y, so I can, in fact, I can distribute the y out. So y times tan 40 minus tan 10 equals 200 tan 10. I want to solve for y, so I need to divide out this tan 40 minus tan 10, that's multiplied by the y on the left. And when I do that, I get y is equal to 200 tan 10 divided by tan 40 minus tan 10. So that's what we need to use the calculator on and see what number we get out of that. Now, I would expect a number, you know, possibly in the hundreds out of that. You really don't really know for sure. Let me clear the calculator. So 210 times 1010. Comes out to be 35.3. And we're dividing by 1040 minus 1010. So 1040, take away tangent 10, comes out to be 0 0.66, call it 662. So 35.3 divided by 0 0.662 comes out to be 53.3. This is in feet. So y is 53.3 feet. Okay, now that we've got what y is equal to, this is like a regular, like a substitution problem, we're going to go back to one of our original expressions and put 53.3 in for y in either one. Usually the easiest one would be the one that just has the single y, you know, y without having the parentheses. So I'm going to replace this y with 53.3. So 53.3 times tan 40 is equal to x. So we got the 53.3 times 40 tangent equals 44.7. So we got x is 44.7. So let's reread the problem, make sure we've got everything that we need to. So bring the problem back over. Uh, let's see. How far off the ground is the hot air balloon? And also, Angie is 5 feet 5 tall, 5.5 feet tall. So she is looking at the balloon starting out five and a half feet up off the ground, we found that the balloon is 44.7 feet up from her eye level. We need to add 5.5 onto that to find out how high the balloon actually is. So 44.7 plus 5.5 comes out to be 50.2. So the balloon is 50.2 feet high. So this is a typical pattern that you'll see in problems like this where you've got x in common as a side of both triangles. You're going to pretty much solve one triangle, get that in x equals form, solve the other triangle, get that in x equals form, set them equal to each other, find out what the y is that works, 
take that y, plug it into one of the original equations, and use that to calculate x, and then come back and double check the information that's in the problem to make sure that you've done everything you're supposed to do. Okay, that's it for the videos on this page. Let me know if you have any questions or if you see any mistakes.